Yeah, just long. And again, she's not happy with the call, but it was definitely long, and that's the uh, view of the chair umpire as well. I admit, a couple of other ones have been fairly close, but that was significantly out. It was uh, one that had clear daylight between the line and where the ball landed. Every close call you are complaining for. Not always. Well, I, I wouldn't say she's complaining on every close call, but she has challenged, if you like, a couple or maybe three. Well, I thought that clipped the light. He called out as well, and I called. He was... Yes, 100% sure. I've got to say, on this occasion, I do have a degree of sympathy Shui, for Zhang Shui. Even Swan seemed to line up the shot. Breakthrough quarterfinals of the Australian Open. Well, she's been finding the line with regularity. Which side of the base line is this one going to land? She's done it again. Wow. <laughs> Bosiaki has to be looking at that shot like, what do I have to do? Smile of resignation from the 14th seed. Yeah, she needs to take a minute now. She's turned her back. <laughs> Wozniacki not necessarily agreeing with the verdict of Hawkeye. John's most recent, John's most recent challenge was a successful one. She's made the inquiry to Hawkeye again. Can you believe it? 15, 14. Oh, Wozniacki, not a happy camper. Questioning the calibration of Hawkeye. And she's got to put this distraction 15, out of her mind. And... Miss Zhang is challenging the call on the left baseline. Oh, the ball looked at the baseline long and hard, did Zhang, before choosing to request the challenge. Wozniacki is incredulous. When I lose a break because these these calls are not right, then over there I'm losing it too because the calls are not right. 
Like, how are we playing with Hawkeye that is this bad? Like, this is not fair. We can only record that. Yeah, but that's not going to help me now, does it? I mean, now it's not going to help me anything. We are calling the match the way we I understand, but how am I supposed to play when every single time the ball is overruled? It's like, it's crazy. But do you understand that like I'm like already here because I'm like anytime she challenges the ball is gonna be good. If I hit it this far out, the ball shows that it's this far out. It's crazy. Wow, well, Miyaki. We made the point. Not happy in any way, shape or form, feeling that technology and the tennis gods are conspiring against her here. Not really started yet, Nick Kyrgios, breakdown, first set, love three. He's saying he's ready to serve, those on centre court, not yet. And uh, he was so close of winning it. Court as well. Yeah, I would say first blood, Rafa. You know, Lauer's talked about it at stake here and the early going, and I think Rafa just just took it much better early on. You know, Nick ignited his game by starting a conversation with the umpire. He continues to do so, and then obviously he will see the statistics. First, second serves won by Rafa. First serves won, so it is a winner. But at the end of that, front of that first set, we saw. The Nakira show with the underhand serve, the second serve, 143 miles an hour. So he started to get more involved, but some of the antics on the side. Have a listen to this. Listen to I don't really like. I, I felt that against you. Did you realize that that was happening? Well, we like to be in control, put it that way, and, and uh, I'm sure Rafa... Oh, hi. sorry Boris, let's just listen to this. Keeping the trials long and then playing the open court. You don't speak enough about the Nadal's backhand. It's really improved a lot over the years. From uh, Nick Kyrgios and Nadal. Back in the second set. 3 4. Yeah, do it then! Stop saying it! Do it! Do it! Don't take you 20 years. I do it whenever I want. I do it whenever I want. Kyrgios leads, four games to three. Second set, first set, nada. I'm starting my routine, and the guy tells me to stop. You are right. Let's so have a look at uh, where. As this uh, row continues uh, about how quickly Nadal is taking in between points. So much power up there. Yeah, let's let's have a look at let's have a look at this. So much power up. It was good. Time. It was good to give up. Wow. So 
almost bow if you are. It'll get to be up there. Well, he's upset that Nadal wasn't was ready to return, up. even though him, the server, was That's ready. They had the discussion up. earlier, that, and this oh. was this. Well, yeah. This is what this discussion is all about. Well, now Nadal shaking his head. As I think um, Damian Dumas, well, as he wandered back underneath the chest, had a quiet word and said, you need to be ready a little bit quicker. Again, just to underline the, edi the etiquette, boys, it's... It, time should revolve really around the server. Yeah, and Nick's complaint was that, look, I'm into my motion, I'm into my routine, and then he's telling me to stop. Telling me he's not ready, he needs to be ready once I'm into my routine. New balls. Congratulations, that's my conduct warning, Mr. Chaos. The match is heating up. He said it would be fireworks. Here we go. Square. A set of piece. Six games to three. Once it's on. That's the Nick Kyrgios in the second set, Todd, that, um, that you'll have enjoyed at some point. Uh, it was a brilliant set of tennis. Uh, he absorbed a bit of disappointment of losing his serve to love it in the seventh game. But this is the sort of thing that if he just got rid of that, just focus the energy on playing more good points. Back it up. Is it okay if we play with you A simple question. And you gave me a code violation for that. You really think I'm going to get in trouble for that? I'm just going to appeal with What are you going to write? Mr. Kyrgios asked if we could use new balls. I gave him a code violation. Mr. Nadal is trying the call on the right service line. The ball was called out. I think it was a, a quick challenge. I think the Rafa felt that off his racket he had made it. Yep. That's <laughs> correct. 50 love. And Nick already changed sides. <laughs> Nick, 50 love. Here we go, let the drama begin. Oh, here we go. with Nick on this one. So it was a second serve and a call comes and he misses the return and umpire saying it didn't have anything to do with him missing the shot. he's just made that um, the call affected his stroke and uh, yeah, sometimes if he hadn't had the chatter before the umpire he would have got the call go his own way yeah. but now it, everything goes against him because it's been In game another Two that leads two games to one. Third set, one set on. Are we going to fight the whole match? That's the problem. Are we going to fight the whole match? I understand you know. That's the problem. Yes. When someone asked me something, he said, when I won. 
you feel like you're important. Because, because you're you screaming. No, no, it's very cute. You are screaming. It's very cute. And so I have no idea what's going on. No idea. You have no idea. If everyone thinks this tennis match is important, you have no idea. No idea. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. I'm not sure how much more of this Damien Dumaswell can take. This is a fairly serious and sustained abuse at the moment. A game where the spite came back. And Nadal, and listen to this, listen to this on centre court. Nadal 5-4, third set. The usual piece from him is not this bit here. He then goes to the side and he tries to get them all coming with him. And he's using every bit of energy he can. Have a look at that. <laughs> the Matador sees red. I'll tell you what, if, I, if I, there's one player, I don't want to get rattled. I don't want to, you know, start really... Say an apology. 